Orlando's opening lineup. We've got Wendell Carter, Cole Anthony out there with Markel Fultz. Then there's Wagner. And for Sacramento, they've got De'Aaron Fox. Also, Kevin Herter out there. Damana Sabonis out there with Barnes. And it's Murray in at the four. And tonight, the rare marquee matchup at center, Grant. This ought to be a treat. Oh, yes. Two heavyweights slugging it out. The different styles, but the same goal to dominate the painted area. And it's going to be the magic off the tip. Now here's Anthony. Going inside. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. That one on Herder. Hey, if you can't block it, sending him to the line can be the next best thing. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The free throw drops for Anthony. Anthony drops them both. Now Fox. Low block shot. And he parries his first look. Fox getting in. Nifty scoring there. Not hesitating inside. There's Fultz with a three. Called in by the Kings. Outside Herder. Back to Sabonis. Here's Fox. Oh, nice D from Fultz. Here's Orlando. About a minute into this first quarter. They get it again. Three-pointer, Anthony. Outside Fultz. Over Fox. And at last, they get one to fall. I mean, what do you expect when you give him the clear look? That's just too easy. Now he's automatic from the mid-range, and the defense knows that. It's a mistake to give up a shot like that. Now here's Fox. Again, the miss by Fox. His touch from mid-range, that's almost always good. That won't shake his confidence. Buries it from three. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Pass to Murray. Now here's Sabonis. He's checked by Carter. And Sabonis slams it in. And how about Sabonis getting up there and rising up to slam down? Here's Fultz. Anthony outside. Over Herder. Anthony misses. The Kings have gone two of four so far. It's hard to think about DeMontis Sabonis without thinking about his father. Arvidas Sabonis was one of the first great Lithuanian players in the NBA. Now here's Fox. Five to shoot. And stolen by Anthony. Outside for Fultz. Anthony against Barnes. Anthony misses. And in talking about Demonis Sabonis and his father, it's striking how many Lithuanian players have made it to the NBA. Yeah, it's not a short list. Demontis is one of many. His father has a plaque in the Hall of Fame. And I'm betting there'll be a few more before too long. Here's Fox. That one off the back iron and out. So far this quarter, he's been out of sync and might be pressing right now. Anthony misses. The Kings trailing. Right side, Murray. Fox outside. The three from Barnes. Knocks it down from distance. The defense better recognize that Harrison Barnes more than capable from there. Pass to Carter. 
Anthony right side. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Shooting two. Free throw drops for Anthony. And Anthony drops them both. The Kings have gone three of six since the tip. It's Fox for the drive. Deflected! Time for some consideration in the passing category, maybe, Kevin. The shot is just not on. Get somebody else going. Down low. After the outside. Picked by Carter. With the drive. Anthony misses. And he just hasn't been able to get it going this period. No, I haven't seen him in, in comfortable spots, or at least spots we've seen in this offensive set that are allowing him to settle in. To the left side wing. Murray finds Sabonis. Blocked! Now here's Wagner. He's guarded by Barnes. Here's Anthony. He takes it in. Ooh, another miss. He's 0 for 6 in this contest. <laughs> this is not his quarter. He needs to give up some touches and recalibrate. Holtz against Fox. Pass to Sabonis. The shot misses. Oh, nice D from Carter. Outside Fultz. Tries to spin move. Not going to go that time. Now Sacramento takes it the other way. Now Fox. He's checked by Carter. Stolen by Carter. And it's Wagner off the drive. Out to Anthony. Launches it. Rebounded by Fox. Okay, and he has not made one shot in this one. Has to be on his mind every time he's pulling up. Sabonis with a screen on Fultz. Pass to Barnes. The three is up. Sinks the tray. Barnes has got six. Well, when Harrison Barnes makes shots like that, confidence grows. He's feeling it. Teammates are going to start feeding off of that. Orlando has gone only one of four from three-point land. Anthony with it. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. That'll belong to Demonis Sabonis. <laughs> no debate there. He, he got hammered. Shooting two. Free throw drops for Anthony. And Anthony drops them both. The Kings have gone four of ten shooting the rock in this first quarter. Pass to Barnes. Here's the three. The rebound by Carter. Orlando leading. 
And here's Wagner. Here's Carter. He's covered by Fox. His first shot coming late. And Carter with the finish. Putting in work. Carter Jr. is a lunch pail guy time out, time who just out. goes about his business. Monk, he's checked in for the Kings. Mitchell comes in for Herter. And a change for the Magic. Suggs is checked in for Anthony. <laughs> Left side, Mitchell. And that's out of bounds. It was last touch by Fox. against Fultz. Carter, a screen on Fox. Here's Carter. Here's Suggs. Stole it away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt. Oh, that's some pesky defense. Should have thought twice before attempting that pass. Monk passes to Fox. Here he goes. Lays it up and banks it in. So shifty Fox gets in there anytime he wants to. Pulls it from the corner. He squares up and sinks it. And the Magic lead by three. That's just tremendous scoring instinct. So fun to watch him work in the half court. The three. Rebound by the Magic. Well, his shots aren't dropping. And they haven't been able to keep pace. But they trust him enough to keep going to him. See if he can find it. Now here's Fultz. Pass to Suggs. Shot clock at six. Over Murray. Off the left rim and out. Well, if you believe in the numbers, that mid-range shot is not a high-value shot, even with little or no defense on you. Outside Mitchell. Now Monk. Let's go with a three. Count it. One for one to start the game. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Some changes for Sacramento. Holmes comes in for Murray. And it's Davis in for De'Aaron Fox. The Kings have got 6 of 14 in so far. Mitchell, the pass to Davis. Now here's Sabonis. Now here's Mitchell. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Monk with it. Bobble covering. And he takes that one up and powers it through. Now that's how you capitalize on a screen. Yeah, good positioning, too. Gave him a clear path to the hoop. Really not enough help there. Lack of communication on the backside. Suggs with the bucket. Great timing and coordination. Lays it in, coming off that pick. After a deep collegiate championship run, Jalen Suggs looks so ready for the pressures of league play. Oh, he's got ice in his veins for sure. Taking his college team to the finals with a buzzer-beating three-pointer, that kind of grit will serve him well in the NBA. For three, here's Harris. It's rebounded by Sabonis. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's a shot he typically makes. Right side, Mitchell. Isaac against Sabonis. Outside, Davis. Just five to shoot. From outside, off the mark. Orlando has gone one for five from deep in this first. Struggling from that area. Here's Suggs. Pass to Isaac. 
Let's the three fly. Hauled in by the Kings. Sabonis has got four rebounds in the game. Outside Davis. Sabonis with a screen on Harris. And stolen by Bamba. A minute 39 left to play in the first quarter. From deep. It's rebounded by Sabonis. Sabonis has got five rebounds tonight. Pass to Mitchell. Holmes with it. Now Monk. Fires from the wing. Good as the jump shot falls. Monk's got seven points in the game. 105 left in the first quarter of the game. Now Isaac. Offensive board. And it's Bamba finishing strong. Making the most of the second chance opportunity. Hey, the hustle is real and the hustle is rewarded. Mitchell, the pass to Davis. Now Sabonis. Pass to Mitchell. There's the three. Missed it. Now 0 for 1 on this game. Well, Orlando shooting just about 29% so far. Not great. Here's Isaac. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. I'll tell you what, you have to be excited about Jonathan Isaac. Whenever he's on the floor, he makes an impact on both ends of the court. Barnes, he's checked in for the Kings. And the Magic making a change here What's as well. Up? Anthony's checked in. And so here's Sacramento. They trail by three. Mitchell against Anthony. And it's Mitchell. The miss. Pass to Anthony. 15 seconds left to play in the first. Six to shoot. Here's Suggs. Launches it, and the shot clock expires. 24 second violation. Well, a good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. Magic out in front, leading by three. And we'll bring you the start of quarter number two when we return. And getting it going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. All right, well, a look at how the hustle game has been going for Orlando. Their frenetic defense has been impressive. Putting ball handlers on the defensive and turning them over as well. Well, the other part is I think they got inside the head of the opponent with those early blocked shots. They played some tremendous low post defense. Barnes is the four with Holmes in the middle. Mitchell out there with Terrence Davis. And it's Monk in at the three. So that's the five in the game for Sacramento. From the arc. It's hauled in by the Magic. The battle of the boards has been something to watch. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Ali LaForce. Well, Jonathan Isaac making his return from that knee injury he suffered in the bubble. Through the grueling rehab, he kept hope, kept the faith, and kept working to come back strong. He said it revealed another level of grit and grind inside of him. And guys, he's determined to come back better than ever. Thanks, Allie. In transition, here they come! Isaac in the post. Davis on him. And he hits it and gets hacked. A three-point chance here if he can convert. Working Shoot for high-percentage looks. Trying to chip away at this deficit here. Well, Grant, starting your career in the 50s. Oh, you know what I mean. Actually, 90s. Back then, we'd see teams usually score the in the 80s and 90s. Mind the lanes. What do you think of the current scoring? Really, B.A., the 50s? <laughs> wow. <laughs> but it's 
crazy. I mean, back then, yes, every game was in the 80s and 90s. Now everyone averages at least 100 points per game. So I think it's been an, an interesting evolution of the game. And, of course, the fans all love offense. And these players and teams today are providing just that. Pass to Holmes. Barnes with it. Jacks up a three. And that makes him three for four. He's looking good. That's just a lapse right there. No matter what, somebody has to be there and get a hand up in the shooter's face. Here's Suggs. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. Holmes finds Barnes. Off the mark there with a three. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. Anthony. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. It's going to be on Terrence Davis. Man, good whistle there. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls. And Anthony drops them both. Closed them in on two minutes played here in the second. Outside Barnes. Back to Mitchell. Pass to Davis. Clock at six. Rebound by the Magic. Suggs has got four rebounds now. Isaac in the post. Monk covers. Isaac's shot is off. For Sacramento, they've got nothing to go out of five attempts so far this quarter. Left side, Barnes. That's good. For the day, he's four for six. And they had early success from the perimeter, but I don't understand how they've gotten away from that here in the second. Bamba up top, defended by Holmes. And Anthony slams it in. <laughs> Slams it down with two hands. Man, they're really getting aggressive now. Barnes with a screen on Anthony. Mitchell against Isaac. Outside for Davis. Pass to Holmes. Over Bamba. And there's Holmes on the assist by Davis. To leave a guy like that wide open from range. Big mix-up. Anthony against Mitchell. Out to Anthony. Screen by Bamba. To the middle. Banked it in off the glass. And the Magic lead by 10. And their offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. Aaron Fox has checked in for Davis. Wagner's checked in for Orlando. Fultz comes in for Anthony. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Fultz against Fox. Outside Barnes. Oh, they get a hand on it. And the officials signal the backcourt violation. Not careful there. Here's Fultz. Ten-point lead. This is their biggest of the game. Back to Isaac. Screen by Bamba. Outside Fultz. Shot clock at six. No good on the triple. Looks like the game plan is they're willing to give him that kind of shot. It worked out for them this time, but 
They give it to him again. I, I bet three points are coming. Now here's Fox. Takes it inside, and he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. In some ways, De'Aaron Fox is a good lesson in patience for owners. He didn't explode out the gate after being picked fifth overall back in 2017. But after a long time, he has found his footing and looks spectacular out there on the floor. First free throw is good. You know, Grant, in terms of improvement after his rookie year, you saw it across De'Aaron Fox's entire stat line. Yeah, once he got comfortable in the league, he started going off. He increased his shooting and assist numbers and got himself nominated for most improved player in 2019. Sabonis, so he's checked in for the Kings. Murray comes in for Barnes. So much talk about who's the fastest player in the league. And Fox always being mentioned there. His speed and stepping into this leadership role. Lots of great signs from De'Aaron Fox. Now here's Wagner. Chalk up two there. Wagner's got five now. And just totally relentless. Only increasing the intensity level. And he's the guy that you want to go to right now trying to put this one away. Fox finds Monk. Over Wagner. Again, the miss by the Kings. Orlando has gone one of two from downtown here in the second. And it's full on the drive. And a strong finish with two hands. Wow. I'll tell you, such an advantage having a playmaker who can get up to the rim and finish. Now that is what every team wants. Like to see that assertiveness, especially from the guy who's going to orchestrate your offense. Magic on D. Outside Mitchell. Out left to the wing. Three-pointer. Fox. Oh, he drilled it. He's shooting three for eight from the floor. Well, Fox trying to work on that outside jump shot. Become more consistent. Nice bucket there. Now Wagner. He's got five. Kicks it out to Isaac. Let's it go from deep. It's rebounded by Sabonis. Sabonis has got six rebounds now in the game. Teammates right now covering up for the type of off performance he's having. In terms of scoring, this has not been his best night. Monk for three. That one's good. Mitchell making the play. He's got ten. You've got to try to scramble the Jets right here and get that guy off the sweet spot. That's one of the best three-point shooters in the league. And Wagner gets it to go. Wagner's got four points now in the quarter. And they seem to have a hard time picking good shots in the first quarter. But it's all coming together now for them here. Fox, that's good. Here's Fultz. Now a timeout called by Orlando. There's always been a lot of talk about Markel Fultz's shooting. But Grant, one sign as to the strides he's made in his first few years in the league was the upward trend in his free throw shooting. And when you see that kind of improvement, B.A., it speaks to the work he's put in. You don't become a great free throw shooter by accident. It takes time and effort, and Fultz put in plenty of both. The Kings making a switch here. Herter's checked in. The Magic making a switch here. To the paint. Pass to Suggs. Now Wagner. Six to shoot to the right side. Fires the three. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. Sabonis has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Mitchell, the pass to Murray. Now here's Herter. Tightly guarded. Pass to Mitchell. They kick it out to Murray. Out to the right wing. 16 feet out. And Sacramento again with the bucket. The Magic have gotten 8 of 12 attempts to drop since the beginning of the second. And here's Fultz. And he 
was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Yeah, just knocking down every free throw. I mean, I love to see this kind of efficiency. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for Sacramento. They've definitely had a hot hand from three-point range to this point. Always nice to start out like that. And you also have to give them some credit for the ball movement today. Their assist Two numbers shot. a little bit above average. That's impressive. That free throw, no good. The Magic making a switch here. Anthony's checked in. No luck at the stripe this time. Second one won't fall. On offense, here are the Kings. They've gone on a 10-2 run, not allowing much. Here's Mitchell. Ooh, tried to dunk it home, but he drew the foul, and he'll go to the line. Yeah, a strong move to the rack draws that foul. First free throw is good. And so he makes both from the line. Getting themselves to the line this quarter is a good way to get their offense rolling. Bolts against Fox. Pass to Anthony. Now here's Carter. Puts up the eight-footer. And that one hits the back iron. Fox outside. They set the pick. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Uh, Herder showed some great progress in his first year and now showing how much more comfortable he is. down the first one. The Kevin Herter's favorite player growing up was Dwayne Wade and that's why he wears the number three. That one misses. Orlando leading. with it. Seven points in the game. Inside. Here's Carter. And it's slammed in by Carter. You love the show of force from Carter Jr. He's not messing around when he gets the ball down there. Pass to Herder. Pick by Sabonis. Herder gets the bucket. Nice dribble move to get to the hoop for an easy two. Orlando has gone just one of four from downtown so far in the second. Fultz finds Carter. He can't get it to go. Good D by Murray. Here's Mitchell. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Two 
Ties it up, and his next one could give him the lead. Barnes, he's checked in for the Kings. He makes one or two that time. He was able to tie it up. But he has to be disappointed that he could not give his team the lead. Outside for Fultz. Pass to Carter. Drives to the hoop. Shoots over Sabonis. Carter, good. Carter's got six points. A skilled big man with a developing jumper. Carter Jr. continues to show what he's capable of. So much potential with that young man. Picked by Sabonis. The three from Mitchell. And Fultz pulls it down. I mean, he's trying to shoot his way out of what's becoming a prolonged cold streak. Yeah, he's got to move on, forget about this sequence here, and, and try to find a way to get on the board. Now here's Wagner. Seven points in the game. Five on the clock. Picked by Carter. And he lobs it up! And it's slammed in by Carter. <laughs> a beautiful setup on the alley-oop. Great catch, great flush. Fox goes in. Oh, nice D from Fultz. We'll have a hard time shaking that one off. Perfect position, plenty of space. Just clanked it. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Last season, after what was dubbed a historic wave of injuries, the Magic decided it was time to hit the reset button, trading away their veterans for picks and for prospects. This will take some patience, but the front office feels this different path affords them more upside to contend moving forward. Guys? You know, Allie, that's an excellent point. Something to keep an eye on. Herders checked in for Mitchell. One sixteen left in the second. Bolts against Fox. Carter is screen on Fox. And stolen by Murray. Outside Barnes. And here's Fox. Picked by Sabonis. Fox to pass to Sabonis. Oh, no good. The dry spell continues. Pass to Anthony. There's the drive. Yes, sir. Oh, that's what you two wow. need for right there. Wow. And he jams it home with authority. They're locked in and focused on making each possession a success. That is exactly how they got the lead. They ended up having multiple possessions in a row with good quality shots. Knocked them down. And the game is fully in their control. And he drops the first. You think about Harrison Barnes when he won an NBA championship in his third year in the league after being the seventh pick in the 2012 NBA draft. Both free throws good from Barnes. 27 seconds left in the second period. Carter, a screen on Murray. Pass to Carter. And here's Anthony. From the high post, hits it. Now two of six from the field. I, I really don't think there's any way to slow them down. They have the defense scrambling out there. Well, nothing that they're doing seems to be making an impact and there are some nights where you just run out of options whether it's by personnel or by tactic and so it's Orlando earning
this break in the action, up 10. And they push the tempo in this one, getting out in transition and making the defense pay. More NBA on 2K Sports right after this. Happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. Oh, without question, De'Aaron Fox displaying all his skills today. Through two quarters of play, he's been an excellent source of points. Yeah, he's, he's shouldering the load right now and looking really comfortable while he's doing it. And the Kings shooting only 40% from the floor in this game. On the court for the Magic. They've got Wagner, Cole Anthony out there with Markel Fultz. Then it's Wendell Carter. Sabonis with a screen on Fultz. Fox. He's off on that one. So Orlando will take it the other way. And they're plus five on the boards after that rebound. Carter, a screen on Murray. Takes a three. It's rebounded by Sabonis. Sabonis has got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. outside Sabonis in the post Carter's there Sabonis can't hit the Magic shooting about 48% from the floor pretty good out to the right wing Fox against Fultz it's stolen by Barnes pass to Fox outside Herter now Murray Fox outside. And it's Orlando with a rebound. Carter's got rebound number eight now. And there's the lob. And it's slammed in by Carter. I don't know what's going on with Carter tonight, but something has him motivated in a major way. And they'll ride him for as long as they can. Back to Herder. Stolen by Carter. Bolts against Fox. Now here's Fultz. Anthony outside. The shot is good. Fultz making the play. Fultz has got three assists in the game. And that's on the defense, giving him a decent look. That's his shot. Now here's Fox. 13 points in the game with the fadeaway. For Orlando, they've got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. Anthony, the pass to Carter. On the take. Pass to Fultz. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Fultz has got six. More points coming from inside. In that respect, they've been the more aggressive team. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Outside Barnes. Again, the miss by the Kings. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Now here's Anthony. Herder defending. Takes the three. The rebound by Murray. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that opening. Sabonis outside. Pass to Barnes. They need this. Can't get it to drop. Now Orlando takes it the other way. To the wing, right side. Fox against Anthony. Here's Carter. Murray brings the double. Six on the shot clock. Picked by Carter. Top of the key. It's hauled in by Herter. Herter's got four rebounds in the game. Fox outside. And there's a pick. It's Barnes on the wing. They get it back. Here's Murray. And it's Murray finishing it off. Grabs the board and goes right in for the putback. I love it, B.A. Yeah, wanting to close the gap. Makes sense to get aggressive on the glass here. Now here's Anthony. He's got 15. 
It's Herter on the wing. Back to Murray. Pass to Fox. From about 19, and the shot goes. Fox has got 15 points. Well, so critical for Fox to get the attention of the defense in this way. He's got to make them fear him. Here's Wagner. Another shot. He can't get that one to fall. Ooh, excellent D there from Barnes. Pass to Herder. Back to Fox. Barnes with a screen on Anthony. Here's Fox. Count it. 17 points in the game. Becoming more confident and a little bit more poised in terms of how he scores is De'Aaron Fox. After the outside. Launches the three. The putback. It's good on the putback. And the Magic lead by 13. It's been a dominant night for him. Staying productive throughout. Sacramento has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. To the left wing. Murray from outside. It's hauled in by the Magic. 17 points was their biggest margin. Fultz against Fox. To the inside. After the outside. Six to shoot. Fultz with it. And Sabonis picks him up defensively. Fultz can't get it to go. Ooh, old school right there. No easy buckets. Herter can't hit. Well, that's not a shot he's ever going to pass up, and he shouldn't. Despite the miss, no defender anywhere near him. He's got to shoot that one. And with plenty of time left, that's his fourth foul. He needs to stay cognizant of that moving forward. Some changes for Sacramento. Monk, he's checked in for Barnes. And Mitchell subbed in for Herter. Suggs is checked in for Orlando. Now here's Wagner. Monk covers. Well, Sacramento is shooting just 37% in the game. Fox finds Mitchell. Now here's Fox. Murray, a screen on Fultz. Fox, the pass to Mitchell. Sacramento again missing. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they've rebounded the ball tremendously well. Looking to get it going. Rebound by the Kings. Sabonis has got 11 rebounds in the game. Kind of rare to see any player have this much of a struggle from the field to still have the lead shows how resilient they are as a complete team. Yep, that one goes. Well, Sabonis can play there on the block. That's where he did a lot of damage in college, so him working inside, that's a good sign. Fox against Fultz. Over Murray. Misses off the left iron. Sacramento shooting a low 29% since halftime. A bonus the pass to Fox. There's the drive, and the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. We'll try to make it a three point play. All right, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Magic. They haven't been pushed around in the paint at all in this game, they've been the aggressors. I also love What's the up? fact that they played with speed tonight. They haven't sputtered one bit, constantly getting out on the break and creating opportunities in transition. Free throw's good for Fox. 
Orlando has gone only one of four from three-point land in the third quarter. Pulls up on the wing. And Holmes pulls it down. Well, he's using the force, but in the worst way possible right now. He just needs to dial it back and look to work the ball around the floor to his teammates. Now here's Monk. Ten points for him over Isaac. And once again, off the mark by Sacramento. And they're doing strong work on the glass. A plus five advantage for them. Carter can't get it to go. That could have been an easy pass and finish. Not really sure what went wrong. And yeah, you like to keep things a little more simple. And that was a play that didn't quite develop the way they wanted it. There's Fultz with a three. No good on the shot. So Sacramento will take it the other way. Left side Murray. It's hauled in by the Magic. 17 points was their biggest margin. Here's Isaac. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Blake Monk picks one up. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Kings. They've made the long-range shot look like a layup at times in this one. Well, if I had a cap, I'd tip it as well to them getting the ball down into the low post. They've made those inside points a priority today. That's been big. That free throw good from Isaac. Orlando making some changes. Bamba comes in for Carter. And Harris is subbed in for Fultz. Perfect from the line this time. And the Kings shooting only 36% so far in this game. Outside Murray. Fox outside. Shoots it from the high post. It's hauled in by Isaac. Well, Orlando shooting the ball at around 42% for the game. Down low. Pass to Suggs. Back to Bamba. And here's Isaac. He's covered by Fox. Shoots from the right block. And out of bounds. The Kings will take it. Looked like a simple play and turned into a turnover. Can't give away possessions like that. Barnes, he's checked in for the Kings. Davis comes in for De'Aaron Fox. Anthony's checked in for Orlando. Pass to Holmes. And here's Monk. And it's off from three-point range. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Barnes against Isaac. 13 feet out. And too long on the shot. Harris has gone one for three from the field here. Here's Mitchell. Doesn't go that time. Oh, great D that time from Harris. Takes a step back. Pass to Suggs. Davis with a rebound. I think he rushed that one just a little bit, thinking the defense was going to get close. They weren't. Monk passes to Mitchell. Monk with it. Over Anthony. And it's Monk missing. Hard to turn down a look that good. Still, long twos are losing favor, and misses like that are the reason why. Here's Suggs. Suggs has got six points. Now that play never gets old. The pick and roll will still be an offensive staple a hundred years from now. Trust me. Mitchell, the pass to Holmes to end the drought. Oh, it's blocked by Bamba. Well, both him and the team seem to be off their game right now, and the frustration is clearly mounting as the clock is winding down. Now here's Anthony. He's got 15. Bamba misses. Well, the D really getting away with one there. No one on him. And that's going to be good nine out of ten times. Outside Barnes. Holmes, a screen on Harris. Barnes passes to Davis. Again, the miss by the Kings. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. On the wing, Isaac fires the three. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. 
Mitchell's got rebound number five here tonight. Here's Davis. Anthony grabs the board. Anthony's got five rebounds tonight. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Here's Suggs. Isaac for three. Sacramento grabs the miss. Barnes has got four rebounds in the game. Here's Mitchell. Outside Davis. Over Anthony. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. It's the Magic. They lead by 12. After a quick break, we're coming right back with the start of the fourth quarter. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. Well, there's a way to break down the defense with the handle, but you can do it with the pass. Prime example of that right there. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same for the first three quarters. Barnes is the four with Holmes in the middle. Mitchell out there with Terrence Davis. And it's Monk in at the three. That's the five out there for the Kings. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Here's Davis. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. And even from where we're sitting, you could clearly tell it was a foul. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. Free throws good from Davis. And it's the Magic with the ball. 17 points was their biggest margin. Pass to Bamba. Harris outside. To the middle. Here's Suggs. And the shot is good. Harris making the play. And the Magic lead by 12. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. And it's a defensive three-second violation. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. And the free throw, no good. Back to Mitchell. Pass to Holmes. Clock at four. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. It's going to be on Gary Harris. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. Shooting two. First one falls for him. Both shots good from the strike. 
Just over a minute played here in the fourth. Pass to Isaac. Now here's Anthony. Who poked away. And it's out of bounds to the Magic. Orlando will retain possession here. Off the inbound pass. On target from range. And the Magic lead by 13. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Mitchell, no good that time. Outside Davis. Clock at six. He can't get it to go. Some solid defense from Bamba. Harris against Holmes. Harris on the attack. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Gary Harris knifing inside, taking it strong, and earning the foul that time. Free throw drops for Harris. Now, Gary Harris has a ton of confidence, has a ton of versatility, and is so important for this team. It'd be fun to watch the maturation process of one Gary Harris. And Harris drops them both. And really strong at the line since the break. And the Kings shooting just 31% in today's game. Not great. It's Barnes on the wing. Isaac covering. Holmes, a screen on Anthony. Mitchell into the lane. Oh, it's blocked by Bamba. To the wing on the left. Here's Suggs. Anthony in the post. Checked by Mitchell. And Anthony slams it in. They've been very well-rounded and extremely focused. The coaching staff probably most proud of the effort of this team on both ends of the floor here tonight. Well, the Kings make it a change here. Fox is checked in. Mitchell, the pass to Fox. Over Suggs. No good off the back of the rim. The Magic have gone three of four in the fourth and looking confident on offense. Inside. 
And it's Isaac with the basket on the assist from Suggs. And the Magic lead by 19. Pass to Holmes. Monk with it. Pounded by Harris. Monk passes to Barnes. Ooh, they can't stop the run with that one. Well, a fast start in the first half. Looks like he's playing the second half in the mud. Anthony with a bucket. Anthony's got seven points here in the quarter. Well, part of the game plan was to neutralize the crowd. And guess what? Mission accomplished. Always a good sign of maturity and steps forward when you can take this kind of effort, focus, and concentration on the road to get a win. Now here's Isaac. Pass to Anthony. Here's Bamba. Now Isaac. Over Barnes. Isaac's shot is off. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Mitchell with the ball. He's against Bamba. Count it. Wow, he doesn't make those kind of plays too often. Sweet move inside. The Magic have gotten five of their seven shots to fall in this final quarter. And some changes here for the Kings. Sabonis comes in for Holmes, and Murray subbed in for Barnes. Here's Suggs. Back to Fultz. Driving inside. Pass to Wagner. Shot clock at five. Puts up a three. No luck on that one. So Sacramento will take it the other way. Outside Mitchell. And he's going for the oop here. And it's Fox with the jam. Yeah, how about the ups right there from De'Aaron Fox slamming that oop down. Fox against Fultz. Pass to Carter. Wagner with it. And that one goes. He's now recorded his fifth bucket in eight tries. The D hasn't been quick enough to react to the ball inside. That's helped cause this run. Outside Monk. Oh, and he blocks it off the glass. Wow. On the break. Oh, hit it, baby. Boom. He jams it straight down. <laughs> Throws it down emphatically. He's got serious hops, right? You add that to his ability to penetrate, that's two easy points. Now here's Fox. Driving in. Oh, and the jam by Fox. 
<laughs> and how much fun right now is the Aaron Fox having on the floor? All smiles. Up top, Carter. He's guarded by Sabonis. And no good, but close on that one. So he'll shoot two now. And even from where we're sitting, you could clearly tell it was a foul. That free throw misses. And some changes here for the Kings. Barnes, he's checked in for Monk. And Herders subbed in for Mitchell. And the Magic making a change here as well. Anthony's checked in. And he misses the second one as well, so 0 for 2 that time. There's more he could have done in this game for sure, but it hasn't kept them from pulling ahead. Herder can't hit. Well, the fact that he has that many rebounds for a guy of his size and stature shows you he truly cares about grabbing possessions off the rim. And the shot goes down. And putting the defender in the spin. Cycle, an underused move in his arsenal. Sabonis with a screen on Fultz. Here's Fox. The offensive rebound. Sabonis. It's not going to go for him. Orlando has gone one for two from deep in this fourth quarter. Carter from outside. Oh, he hits that one. Eight for 11 and remaining a thorn in the D side. And let's face it, when you're down this many points, you simply can't let them get that good of a look. Teachable moment there. Lapses like this are backbreakers. Now here's Sabonis. Knocks it loose. Oh, stolen by Fultz. And the Magic pushing it up now. Anthony with a bucket. Since halftime, they have been efficient and effective, making Coach very happy. Well, the thing is they're controlling the pace right now, and if that was the mantra for them at halftime, they've carried it out. Here's Fox. The Magic making their last shot, and that one's good. Not just the accuracy in the quarter, it's his movement and the energy that's getting him on this nice roll. Carter, a screen on Murray. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. And so he's picked up his final foul, and he'll sit the rest of this one out. Davis, he's checked in for the Kings. He makes a first. And that's good as he hits both shots. Well, the Kings shooting only 29% since the fourth quarter began. And Fox, here we go. Left side, Barnes. That one, no good. Oh, nice D from Carter. Orlando has gone two of three from beyond the arc here in the fourth. And there's the foul. It'll go on Terrence Davis. That's his third foul so far. I have to admit, I mean, it's always a tough decision for the ref on the block charge call. And a chance there to look back at the stunning mobile one block a moment ago. Yeah, obviously he had the shot well anticipated, able to shut it down with authority. Holmes, he's checked in for Demona Sabonis.
Shot clock at six. Anthony in the post. Herder defending. Anthony misses. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. They're finally taking care of the ball and playing smarter. Turnovers were a problem early on. Now here's Anthony, guarded closely. Outside Fultz. Looking to get back on track. And he can't get the first one. He does not get the second one. Sacramento shooting only 31% in the game. Fox up top. And it's Orlando with a rebound. Pass to Anthony. And Anthony slams it in. Just great offense. The screen freeing him up for the slam. Hey, without that screen, he doesn't get a clean look at the rim. Yeah, why well, settle for the layup when you can attack the rim and rise up like that. Now here's Barnes into the lane. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Carter. The three from Barnes. Yeah, ever since the break, he's just struggled to find his shot. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. Here's Fultz. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another. Fox outside. Holmes, a screen on Fultz. Fox, the pass to Holmes. Oh, it's Holmes with the big jam. Just getting more and more court awareness and where guys are at all times is De'Aaron Fox. Pass to Anthony. A minute 58 left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. Sacramento has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Barnes finds Fox. And here's Herter. Now here's Holmes. He's checked by Carter. It's blocked. And it's out of bounds to Sacramento. And there's 138 left in the fourth quarter here. And it's in there. Fox has got 15 points in just the second half. Continuing to expand his offensive game. Fox off to a good start. Ooh, excellent D there from Barnes. And the Kings shooting only 29% since the fourth quarter began. And what a complete performance we saw from them. A dominant win in every way for the Magic. Pretty clear who the better team was today. They dominated in just about every phase of this game, Grant. <laughs> B.A., it's almost hard to think what didn't go well for them. Their plan, their execution, everything was absolutely on point. Pass to Wagner. Clock at six. It's stolen by Fox. Now here's Herder. Three-pointer. Drops in the three. Uh, he's shooting that with tons and tons of confidence. Herder with another catch-and-shoot basket. Picked by Carter. Here's Wagner. And this kind of selflessness is great to see. Textbook positioning to draw the charge. Get open, get open. 
Here are the Kings with the ball now. Outside Herder. And stolen by Anthony. Just one second separating the shot clock and the game clock. Now Fultz. Carter, a screen on Fox. Pass to Carter. Trying to get back on track. Davis with a rebound. So no problem for Orlando as they get the win. This one wasn't even close. The hometown crowd was waiting for a miracle that never came. Yeah, and this team was consistent throughout. They met every challenge, and they earned this dub. So alongside Grant Hill, Allie LaForce, Brent Barry, and our entire 2K crew, I'm Brian Anderson saying thank you for watching. Now our New Balance player of the game, Wendell Carter.